Well, you or perhaps your elderly parents may have seen these ads for collectible coins. Turns out they're from a company based right here in Minnesota. And they're at the center of a class action lawsuit. The company has denied the allegations in court filings. But Janelle Klein talks with a family who raised concerns after spending tens of thousands of dollars. When Joan Williamson started giving collectible coins as gifts, her family at first thought nothing. A lifelong nurse, they knew Joan was smart, independent, and not easily fooled, but were instantly suspicious when they saw dozens of the coins all over her California home. They're in plastic cases. More than $30,000 worth, all sold from a company called government.com, based at this building in Egan. The amount of coins that she had, bags upon bags of coins, and seeing what she was paying, that's when we were like, well, wait a second, this isn't, this isn't sound right. So Joan's family says they went online and found forums and message boards full of complaints about government and its owner, Asset Marketing Services, or AMS, and eventually the name of attorney Bruce Steckler. They're certainly not a very good investment. Whose Dallas law firm filed a class action lawsuit in Minnesota that says AMS business practices are fraudulent and deceptive designed to take advantage of the elderly. Steckler says Joan Williamson is one of hundreds of seniors who AMS targeted, saying the coins it sells are worth about half of what they cost. Steckler says one senior spent $4 million. Too many elderly people are finding their life savings caught up in these commemorative coins that have little or no value or less value than what they're um, being purchased for. That's also the findings of Joe Presti, a New Hampshire attorney who's been grading coins professionally since 1980. Presti says he's seen dozens of coins from AMS over many years and agrees their value is typically about half of government's listed price. Evaluating portfolios that I've seen from government.com, coins are worth approximately 40 to 60 percent of their retail value. The lawsuit alleges AMS operators called prospective buyers dozens of times to develop relationships that helped them then sell the coins. It says AMS never told buyers about the coin's true value, instead claiming their return could be 400 percent. And Steckler says once buyers caught on, AMS refused to refund them. They go to sell the coins and find out they've been duped. If it's that great of a turn, why don't they want them back? Why don't they want the coins back? So... That's a clue. None of this is news to the Minnesota Department of Commerce, which has gotten six complaints about AMS and has twice punished the company for its sales methods and for avoiding taxes, fining it $30,000. This 2016 order for consent details how AMS employees called at least one prospective buyer more than 600 times in a year urge seniors to buy coins even when they were hospitalized or medicated, and misrepresented the rarity and value of coins. They have significant value. They're underpriced. This is a great deal. They're extremely rare. Now's the time to buy. Implying to senior citizens they were a good investment. Now as the state urges Minnesotans to carefully research coins before purchasing, Bruce Steckler hopes buyers like Joan Williamson will get back not just the money they lost, but also the trust. The ideal outcome was for this to stop completely. They emotionally just kind of beat her up with it, and it broke my heart, you know, to see her get through that. Janelle Klein, CARE 11 News. When well, AMS spokesperson says the company declines to comment on pending litigation, the spokesperson says AMS denies all allegations and intends to vigorously defend these lawsuits.